You low-life piece of scum. You did this to me. You took away my career and my life's work, and for what, huh? For a company you don't give a damn about. It's just a name and a paycheck to you, and a marriage you don't even deserve. You really like this, don't you? Playing the tough guy. What, what does it make you feel superior? Is that it? It isn't about being tough or superior. It's about class, Deacon. It's about integrity and honor. Concepts you know nothing about. Be crippled by someone like you. Well, it's over now, Deacon. It's over right here and now. Here. Well, thank you. Well, as if you could use that. <laughs> Was it hard to see him again? Mm. Eric? Well. No, no, that's all right. You don't have to say anything. Stephanie, I know what he's put you through. He's still my husband, Ross. Only on a small piece of paper. Stephanie, after all this man's affairs and lies, how can you ever trust him again? I mean, where was he when you really needed him? Where was he when he should have been standing up for Ridge? He's on his way over. Tonight? In this storm? Yes. He wants to talk to me. Good. Let him talk. Once he's finished spewing out all his pathetic excuses, you tell him that it is over. End this marriage. Give him back his ring once and for all. Hey. Hi. It's really raining hard out there, huh? Yeah. I thought you'd be in bed by now. Honey, are you in pain? Mm -hmm. Amber, what is it? Oh, Rick, I'm so sorry. What, wait a minute, sorry about what? The way I acted at Bridget's party. I made a fool of myself in front of her little boy. It's okay, Amber. Eric and I took care of it, don't worry. Rick, a complete stranger took care of our son because I couldn't. How could I let that happen? to find you, and she means it. Stay away from her, Erica. You know how she gets. Be careful. Call me soon. Where am I supposed to go? It's just the wind rain and the tree branches hitting the window. I've been in my worst storms before. Mom couldn't have found me this fast. It would be impossible.
one. Erica! Free Ziggy! Come on, it's pouring out here! Oh, you tell me. Feel it. Ow, ow! I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Listen, seriously. Uh, you know what? I've been thinking about what you said earlier about that being your mom that broke in. And? And I don't buy it. I mean, look, whoever hit me was strong. I'm super strong. I, I was knocked out. So, no. It couldn't have been your mom. It had to have been a burglar. Great. Great. That makes me feel, like, so much better. You know what? Why are you so freaked out about your old lady anyway? Look, it doesn't matter because it wasn't her. <gasps> Erica, you, you shake. I'll be fine. Well, not here, you all. Not, not alone. Then where, Ziggy? I don't have any friends. You have me. You can crash in my place. Uh, it's not like that. Uh, you can you can sleep in my bed. <laughs> I'll take the couch. Come on, I'm trying to be nice here. <laughs> Is that all? Why do you think I came back down here? Because I'm worried about you. You shouldn't be alone tonight. And neither should I. I know you want me to file for the divorce. Stephanie, it seems to me that you have spent your entire life doing things for other people. Where is your happiness in all of this? Oh, Moss, I'm happy. I've been happy all my life. Really? At what price? How many scandals have you had to endure because of Eric's selfishness? Come on, don't you see? I mean, this guy is never going to change. You want me to walk away from my marriage and my family after all of these years? <sighs> I, I, I don't know if I can do that. Uh-huh, sure. But you can watch him do it again and again. And how about this company that you helped him start, hmm? Who does it belong to now, Stephanie? To Brooke and to her children, fathered by your husband. Hmm? I mean, isn't that bad enough? And yet, there's that other one, that maniac, that nut burger there. For God's sake, she almost tried to kill you. And he brought her into the family. How are you going to forgive him for that? Let's not go there, please. Look, sweetheart, I'm not saying these things to try to hurt you in any way, OK? I'm just saying them to remind you what it means to be married to this man. You should be loved, cherished, protected. Put an end to this nightmare, all right? Tonight, give him back that damn ring. You should be with me and with our son. The three of us, we're family now. Oh, there he is. Just do the right thing. Will you excuse us for a moment, please? Uh -huh. Well, I hope I interrupted something.
pie. You want a piece of meat? Come on. With pleasure. Come on, Reg. Come on, if it's gonna make you feel better, let's do it right now. Hmm? Take your best shot. But then let's be done with this. Tempt me, Deacon. Hey, man, look. I won't even fight back. If hitting me is gonna end this grudge, then just do it, Reg. Come on. Do it! No. No. I'm not gonna make it that easy for you. What is it with you, man? What is it? First, first you want payback, then you don't? I wanna teach you a lesson, Deacon. You and your playground conspirators. That's what I want to do. I don't think you know what the hell you want. You're so full of hostility. You know, this isn't good for Bridget. It's not good for anyone in the family. Oh, now you speak for the whole family. Look, why don't you just, please, come back to Forrester. We need you. We, we could work together. Work with you at Forrester, huh? That company should be mine now, Deacon. I spent the better part of my life there. Dreaming my dad's dreams, making them happen. I earned my keep, Deacon. I helped build that empire. And now in one fell swoop, the whole thing's been taken away from me. The whole thing, just like that. And by who, huh? By my little twit of a brother, his wife, and you, the hired help. You punks mean nothing to me. And now after what you've done to Forrester, I don't even give a damn about that company anymore. Yeah, it must be real satisfying pushing all those papers around being a desk jockey over Maroney. Well, you know what? That position's given me more satisfaction than you'll ever know. You're just never gonna let go of this hostility, are you? Oh, yeah, Deacon, I will. One day, one day I'll let it go. And when that happens, you're gonna get what you deserve. You're gonna get what you deserve. All of you are. Thanks, but no thanks. I, uh, I think I'll stay in my own apartment tonight. Shoot yourself. <clears throat> if you need anything... I'll call. Exactly. I want you to make sure you lock this door behind me. Yes, sir. Ah, All right. I'll check on you tomorrow. All right. Good night. <laughs> Ziggy, I told you, I'm staying right here. Ziggy? That's weird, nobody's there. It must have just been the wind. Well, you wanted to talk to me. Yeah, yeah, I do. I just, I just hate that it's like this. Here, all this awkwardness and this tension between us. I'm trying. But that's the point. We shouldn't have to try. We're married. You're my wife. I'm your husband, and I love you, and I want you to come home. Eric, we, we can't just go back to what was. No. No, but what, what is is that we have, we have a marriage. We have, 
children and we have grandchildren together. We have a company and... Look, I, I know that I've disappointed you time and time again, and I, I take full responsibility for all of that, for, for the affairs and, and the mistakes. It's too late. By whose clock? Yours or his? Oh. What? Look, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, uh, I know you're stronger than that. I, I know that you would not let Massimo influence you in something like this, something as important as this. Stephanie, please, you... You need to be with your family. Your family who loves you. And with me. Please come home. It's okay to need help, Amber. Look, I know what you're going through. You know, it's been so hard. Just watching your mom. She's happy and pregnant and going home so long. That should be us. It should be me. Oh, Amber. It's my fault. I should have canceled the show. And then maybe, uh, maybe I wouldn't have miscarried him. Still have for a little no, baby. No, Amber. Amber, you have to understand. You did everything you could. You have got to stop blaming yourself. <laughs> yeah, but I was carrying her. I lost her. Amber, I wanted this baby just as much as you did. But it wasn't meant to happen. Not this time. We have to let her go. I can't. I can't just forget her. No, Amber, we're not going to forget her. We're just going to move on. Amber, I love you so much, and we will have that big family we dreamed about. We'll have that family because I believe in us. Amber, we made a promise to each other. For better, for worse, sickness and in health, in good times and in bad. Amber, I will always be here for you. Always. <laughs> You were rid of me, but think again. <laughs> <laughs> 